Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In a previous video, I mentioned that you should use Lightroom's healing tools. That includes the Content Aware Remove tool, the Heal Brush, and the Clone Brush before you do any masking. In today's video, I want to demonstrate what will happen if you do masking before you use any of those tools. I myself wasn't aware of this until one of my viewers emailed me about this issue asking me if there was a way to fix it or a workaround and there really isn't a workaround or a fix you just have to use these healing tools before you do any masking now we're going to be working on this image this is a rather frustrating image i was taking photos of this sculpture it started to get dark and it started to rain i packed up my backpack and i grabbed my tripod and i was walking away and i had my camera luckily around my shoulder and a flock of geese decided to fly over the top of the sculpture as I was leaving. So I just spun around and fired off a couple frames holding the camera with one hand. And this is one of the frames. Now, this will be more noticeable if you're removing or healing or using content to wear remove on something large. If you're just removing sensor spots, you may not notice a problem, but if you print that rather large, you may then see that it doesn't look right. Now, this is an unedited RAW file. Let's just do a quick edit on it. I'm going to do lens corrections because it was shot with a DSLR. I'm going to bring exposure up a bit. We're going to bring highlights down, open up the shadows. I'll get a white point, hold the Option key on my Mac. It's Alt key on the PC. I'll move that to the right until I see some colors coming through and back it off till that dissipates and do the same thing for blacks. All right, maybe add a little vibrance. Okay, there's my edit. Maybe I'll bring exposure down just a touch. Okay, now I mentioned you should use these healing tools right now, but let's say we're not going to do that. We're going to go to the masking and I'm going to get a mask for the sky. And I'm going to make the sky a little more dramatic. I'll add some contrast. We'll go to presence. I'll add some texture, some clarity, a little bit of dehaze. Added a lot of drama. All right. So we're done with masking. Now, let's just say for the sake of argument, I don't like this goose. I want to remove it. So I'm going to go to the healing tools. And it doesn't matter which one you use. They're all going to exhibit the same issue. I'm going to take the Content Aware Remove tool for this. I'll get a circle that's just a tiny bit bigger than the um, actual goose. I'll click once and you'll notice there's this weird white ghost outline of where that goose was. And I mentioned it doesn't matter which one of these tools you use. It's still active. I'll switch it to the heel brush and you can see that it looks identical. I'll switch it to the clone brush. And you can see it's still the same thing. So it doesn't matter which one of the three tools you use. You're all, it's always going to have this issue where it's going to give you this kind of ghost outline of whatever it was that you're removing. So let's reset this, get rid of it. Let's go to our masks and let's delete all the masks. So we're at the point now where I just did this basic processing. Now... Let's do it in the proper order. Let's go to the healing tools. Let's use that content aware remove tool and let's click once and get rid of the goose. And you can see it looks okay. I mean, there's a little bit of an outline there, but you could kind of play around with it. Let's see if you could make it look a little better. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now let's go to masking and let's do the same thing. We'll Select the sky, we'll go to tone. Now I didn't look at the numbers I moved these sliders to, but let's move the same sliders. Contrast, we'll go to presence, add some texture, some clarity, and some dehaze. All right, so you can see there's no weird white outline there. It removed it properly. I mean, we know we removed a bird from that area right there. So it does look a little different, but I challenge anyone who didn't know that a bird was there to begin with to look through this image and try to find an area on the image that looks like it was altered. They probably wouldn't be able to find it that readily. It looks fine. So definitely use any of the healing tools before you do any masking in Lightroom. That's the order of events that this must be done. 
Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.